Hey, what's up, guys? Back again with another video in the Java tutorial series. So, last episode, I went over the, um, what was it, the for loops? Yeah, the for loops. And uh, we also went over the while loops, uh, like, two episodes ago. So, this episode, we're going to be going over the last type of loop, which is the do while loop, okay? And the do while loop is a unique type of loop that, it has to run at least once for it to uh, work, basically. So this is what a do while loop will actually look like. So do keyword and then, you know code here, and then at the end is where you have your condition. So while you know condition. So that's what that would look like, right? So let's go ahead and make one. So we'll say int uh, bob equals uh, 35, and say do Sout Bob while 35 is less than 100. Okay, so let's try and figure out what this is going to do. So if we run this, um, if you guess correctly, it would just spam 35 over and over and over because we're not, you know, changing the number ever. So if you want to like fix that, I guess we could just do um, Bob plus plus, obviously, because um, then Bob plus, and then that means that Bob will be added every time. Right. Oops, clicked the wrong button, but it should work the same. Uh, that was weird, but uh, I'm just going to get rid of this as being weird. Terminate. Okay, we'll try running this. And this time it's just going up for some reason. Hmm. So while 35 is less than than 100 oh I'm stupid I meant because 35 is always going to be less than 100 so we should put Bob here obviously sorry about that but for the first program it'll still do the same thing because Bob was 35 and we weren't changing anything but this time if we run this then uh, it should stop at 99 because you know so now that we have that we can uh, yeah so if you look down here uh, what we're doing, we have 35, right? We're declaring a variable and giving it a value of 35. And then we're doing this first. Remember, in a do while loop, it has to run at least once. It will run at least once, no matter what. So we're printing out 35, and then we're going above 35 by 1. And then what it does now is checks and see if this is still true. And if it's still true, it'll repeat. So it's not going to check to repeat until after. That's what the while is for. So yeah, it's pretty cool. You can play around with that if you want to. And so we're going to make a complex little program right now to try and combine a little bit of the skills we have learned this uh, section, I guess you could call it. So we're going to have a do while loop here and we're going to print out a bunch of stuff. So we're going to make a little menu program. So um, option one will be um, uh, green. OK, and then so that should work and so we'll just copy each one actually so we're gonna have f five options i guess no how four four okay so green blue red yellow okay and so we're gonna print out these four and then we're gonna have a while here so while oh we're gonna have to have one more here this is gonna be a a special type of statement um well first we're gonna have this we're gonna say choose which number you want okay and then so we could have this here this is special so we're gonna have choice equals oh we have to declare a variable but called choice by the way so int choice equals null so nothing for now that just makes it empty basically so choice equals char what do you want here what's the problem oh int and this can't be null i didn't know that whatever um sorry about that so choice equals uh, char system dot in dot read. Okay, and this is something new we've never really done before. And um, so I'm not sure why there's an error here. We'll handle the error in a second. But and then here inside the while statement, it will say while choice is uh, smaller than one because our lowest option is one. And uh, also, um, and, right, I believe, and, or, 
Yeah, yeah. Or we can be or. So, because it, really, it can only be one at a time, right? So choice is either smaller than one or choice is bigger than, oops, bigger than four. So there's four, only four, right? So it can choose only one through four. So it's going to say if you don't input a number that's between one and four or one and four, then um, it's just going to keep asking you until you do it right and stop being a dum-dum. So... Oh, sorry. We had to, uh, I forgot about this. We had to import this here. So you can either type this manually, import java.io.io exception, make sure that capitalize is all the same, and then add this here, throws. Or you can just do it simply just by, uh, I'll undo it. So if we click here, and this um, helpful thing will pop up. If you just click this, you can select the option to add exception. It'll do it all for you, which is amazing. Make your life way easier. So let's try and see if this worked. Now that the error is gone. So it says option one, green, option, oh, I forgot to change the option. So let's change it before we move on. So option two, option three, and option four. Okay. <clears throat> so now that looks good. So now we, um, it has a prompt here. Now we can input uh, whatever you want right here. So we can put the number, let's try six. Then it should just, yeah, it'll ask again because we didn't put it within the boundaries of these two. It's either uh, smaller than one or bigger than four, and it's definitely bigger than four because six is bigger than four. So let's try zero. Again, it'll just repeat, right? Oh, I think I see what we might have done wrong. We have to set this to equal char. It's a char type, I mean. So it has to be a char type, and then we already cast this to be char because when you input it as a number, it'll be set to an integer, of course. So we have to force it to become a char. Ignore that. And so this will be char on both sides now, as we learned before. So it should work now, hopefully. So if we put three, it'll repeat again, because it hates me. What the heck? I am sorry for the problems. So obviously, if it's a char, it has to be surrounded by single quotes. So I didn't do that. So that's why it's not working. I am, am a dum-dum. So I'll put three, and it actually works this time. Thankfully, okay, so now that we have this, we can do some cool. We can use the switch statement that we already learned before. We could have switch here. So switch, um, let's see, switch choice. That'll be the variable we're working with, right? Then we have case one. We'll have four cases, right? So case one, so, wow, you chose green. So we'll copy this over so for the next one. So, uh, oops case two and then we'll have change this to we'll change it after so we'll do case three now so case three copy that and then case four copy that so then we have these and then we'll have a uh we don't need to actually we don't need a uh what's it called a whatever the other one is called i forgot what it's called to be honest um but yeah, we don't need the extra, oh, the default case. We don't need that one because um, it's already checking up here if it's between one and four. So that's the only thing that will be possible. So let's break out of these once we're done. And then, um, yeah, so let's try running this. And oh, wait, we need to change these. So green, blue, and then red and yellow. Okay, so let's run this. So we'll choose three, and it should, nope, doesn't say it. Hold on, let's see what we got here. Oh, right, because, again, since it's a char, not a number, then we have to have these single quotes up here. I am a genius. And then four, that should work, hopefully, if it likes us today. Okay, and so we run that, put three. And then, yeah, we get, wow, you chose red. So it actually works. Very good. So let's run this one more time. And we'll put, like, five, and it should not not work. So, yeah, just ask in. Then we'll put four. And then we get, wow, you chose yellow. So awesome. That really works. So with this, we built, like, a simple little menu thingy. And uh, so about this, this little um, system.in.read, it looks a little scary because we've never worked with that before. And it is kind of scary, I admit. But... We'll be working with that in the future, so don't even worry about this. This is just an example program. 
that you might use um, when you're coding. So yeah, I just wanted to demonstrate more of how to use the while, do while statement. So anyway, if you liked the episode, uh, leave a like. Um, if you want to see more, subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment. I help you. And peace.